Well, I think it's a very important day for the whole world, both to honor journalists and members of the media, those who have sacrificed, lost their lives, faced other challenges in reporting and informing the public. It's also a day to celebrate the role of the press, especially in democratic societies. Here in Cambodia, the country has demonstrated the ability in the past to have independent media, but these days it's under a lot of stress, a lot of pressure, and we have a lot of concerns. We very much encourage greater freedoms of the press, protection of journalists, support of journalists, so that we can hear all voices, holding governments accountable, informing the public, and, and, uh, and telling us exactly what's going on. And this is particularly important in a year where there's an election for Cambodia. You have a concern about the flood freedom in Cambodia, so I am wondering what the USA will do uh, like to help strengthen or promote the flood here in Cambodia. Well, we dialogue with the government. I have meetings this week, and I frequently meet with the government to share our concerns, our encouragement, not just on the freedom of the press, but also respect for all human rights. There have been some challenges here in Cambodia, and as a democracy with a constitution that enshrines multi-party democracy, respect for human rights, respect for freedom of the press, there are some shortcomings. So we think it's important for the success of the kingdom and the country, but also for the relationship with the United States and other partners. Yes. As the election is coming, do you have any concern about uh, like the res restriction of the press freedom here? Well, quite a few concerns, because elections are important. They're not the only element of a democracy. The preparation for elections are quite important too, and we think there should be freedom for parties to register, for individuals to campaign, to speak freely. Even if that means being critical of the current governing political party, there needs to be debate and discourse so that the Cambodian people have choices. The good thing is that Cambodians like to vote, and I'm very impressed by the high voter turnout. But when they vote, they want to have choices. We don't make a choice. We work with whatever government the Cambodian people choose. We don't choose sides. But we do think the Cambodian people deserve to have an open society, greater transparency, freedom of expression, association, and the ability to form political parties and contest. Yeah. Mr. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, I am wondering how the U.S. Embassy is going to uh, promote the tie between the embassy and the journalists here to ensure that they can carry out their work more smoothly. Well, I hope we're doing that job already, and I will take advice from journalists on what we could do better. But today's event is a very important example. Yesterday, I had a mock press conference with students of journalism. We often, often invite journalists to cover our events, our senior visitors when they come here. We distribute press releases and information to journalists, and we message to the government on the importance, especially of independent journalists their ability to operate freely and without fear of repercussions of violence um, or harassment. And so we will continue to do those things, but we welcome ideas. It's an important partnership. Media is very important. It's important to my job, the journalists to tell me how I'm doing with my job and to hold me accountable in my role. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. Okay. Thank, thank you very, you very much. much thank time. you for coming today. To my yes, thank you.